Hi guys, Mel the Train Tutor here again with another product review and in this one what we're going to be looking at is MicroArt Studios uh, radar station. Now this is a bit of their hard foam terrain and I've looked at this stuff in the past, okay, I've reviewed the their canal system and I'll put a link up to that and I've also reviewed their crate heats and I'll put a link up to that in that corner. I'll swap them around you. But there'll be links, trust me, there'll be links and in the description. But anyway, their radar station. Now, normally, what I do with these sort of product reviews, and as you know, I sort of have a good look and then report what you think, what I think. Now, before I do that, what I wanted to show you, okay, is while it's in the packaging. Now, if you look at it while it's in the packaging, let me get this. I'm not sure if you can see it, but basically, because of the way it's been packaged in this back packaging, it's pulled. Yeah, it's sort of warped the MDF. Okay, and I was quite concerned about this when it first turned up, so I dropped them an email and they said, look, we've never had any complaints over this, it's never been an issue. And when the MDF goes together, it sort of locks straight, okay? And looking at it, it is only pulling on the outside of the MDF, but I wanted to show you what I received in the packet. And then, you know, I plan on putting this together and we'll see if, you know, it locks straight and if it's an issue. But, you know me, it's probably nothing, they're probably right, but I wanted to raise it straight from the stuff. So, let's go cameras down so you can have a look at what I'm doing. So here we have the actual package piece, and obviously it's a piece of hard foam on top of oh, watch what, an MDF sheet. So I'm going to just open this up. It didn't come like this. The kids have been poking holes and gagging to get into it, little lad as. It was fully wrapped, but so straight away, it's like Christmas, isn't it? Oh, right. So throw that down there. What have we actually got? A lot of bits have come off. Ah, they're bits out of the MDF. That's fine. Right, guys. We have building instructions. Okay, on the back of the sheet. That's clever. Like that. Like that a lot. Yeah, I'll put. I'll have a look at those in a minute. We have a resin door. Okay, and the cast isn't too bad to be truthful. I mean, it seems pretty solid. I don't see any major problems with it there's a bit of flash but i mean it's resin so you're going to get flash okay and you've got the hard foam terrain now initial looks at it's a it's a good cast you know i'm struggling to see any foam damage where you know you get the air bubbles there's a couple of little bits but nothing excessive and nothing that's a a real issue there's a couple of small holes up here and a bit of damage there from when it's come out of the foam mold but I can forgive that quite easily it's tiny okay and I'm guessing that that goes right in there for the door now there's a lot of play around here but I'm guessing the idea was that you can just simply fill it with filler because you're going to be texturing over that anyway so right off the off I don't see that as a major issue now over here we've got the actual MDF parts okay and they all seem pretty good I have a pusher tool in the actual MDF first thing I push out okay so makes sense and these MDF pieces they all look pretty good they all look like they're going to pop out quite easily I've not had much experience with MDF terrain to be perfectly honest it sort of came onto the scene after I sort of got out of building terrain and I've got to say it's like the first proper piece getting my hands into quite impressed you know, I'm assuming they are going to stick together and make the radar dish. I don't think that warping is going to be an issue, but I will come back to you once it's finished and give you my honest opinion. Uh, there's a few jobs I want to do. I want to do a bit of customization on this. This has got parts here, so I'll have to check out what they're for. Yeah, if you notice, it's got little indents at the base of each of these corners. And yet, when I look at the picture, I can't... Oh, yeah, there for the ladder at the back. Right, that's cool. That's this walkway. Brilliant. Okay, guys, uh, what I'm going to do is, rather than he hearing me ramble and just go on about it, I'm actually going to spend some time and put this together. So, uh, the idea is, you'll be coming back to me, unless something drastic happens, you'll be coming back to me in a minute with a finished piece. So, I'll see you shortly, guys. See you in a minute. So guys, here's the piece assembled. Uh, build time was approximately 30 minutes and relatively simple. 
Uh, the only real work that I need to do in is clean up the flash on the resin door and clean up the edges on the PDF where I cut them out and you got the sort of the, the lugs you get left over if you know what I mean from cutting things from sprues you know so a little bit of filing a little bit of trimming nothing major I mean for my first experience with MDS uh, quite nice to be perfectly honest they went together really nice they're a tight fit yeah so in some cases what I had to do was sort of file down the lugs to make them a little bit more of a wedge to sort of get them in the slots in a couple of cases because they were really tight but it's a solid build I've glued it together with PVA of course yeah, I like the, the MDF stuff uh, the other one was this piece here now this one was one of the wart pieces and I glued it down with super glue and it's perfectly fine. So that warping at the start due to that packaging is not an issue with the model. So scrap that as an issue. Yeah, now I've put it together. Now, as a finished piece, uh, you're looking at a footprint of approximately 10 inches across that way by 8 inches down. And the model is about 3.5 inches up. And if you had the radar dish, it goes up to about 6.5 inches up. So I won't say banana for scale. But you get the idea, what you call it, it's a fair size for a model, you know, it's not a small model by any counts. I mean, it's not an absolutely massive one, but, you know, it's quite a nice model. Right, now the resin door, okay, this is slightly warped, okay, just down this edge here. And it's a flat piece of resin, so, you know, you get warpage with flat pieces of resin. If you're really concerned about it, throw it under some hot water, then put it on a piece of glass flat, and it'll just lay flat. And then, you know, hard and flat. I, I just intend to put a bit of a green stuff or watch what filler down there, and that'll clean that up, okay? Now, the one thing that got me was this bit on the doors so these bits sticking up it just seemed a bit strange and then as i was looking at it they stick up just about as much as the base that it's resting on and i had a thought i wonder when they were putting this together whether they thought well the building's three and a half inches up so the door needs to be three and a half inches up and they forgot about the base i mean it's not a major issue it doesn't affect anything it's just a curiosity and one thing that i did find disappointing just it's a, with regards to the phone but with regards to this door side there's no detail on here Okay, and I can understand you want a flat surface to put the resin door against, but some some bars or something. So I may have to do something to tie that out because flat just doesn't work for me. But I mean, that's not an issue with the model. That's just something I noticed once the door was on. All the other panels are sort of detailed with the exception of that one. Now, when it comes down to the foam itself, there's a couple of things that I need to make clear. Okay. First off, the colour of the foam. This is relatively dark. Now, I've talked about this in previous videos, yeah. Micro Art Studios mix their formula, and depending on how they mix it, depends on the shade that comes out. I asked them about it, and this is what they told me. And basically, yeah, the darker the shade, the tougher the foam. Okay, so if you've got an opportunity to see the bottom of these models, of Micro Art's foam models, check it out, yeah, and go for the darkest colour possible. Yeah, this is pretty tough, to be perfectly honest. This is fine. Some of the lighter ones I wasn't that impressed with, but this is fine. Now, also, if you look, and I'll throw in a, a close-up photo in a second, but these cogs, when they're put in the mould, they'd be the furthest, furthest point down, the most likely place to get air bubbles trapped. And on these, this sort of cog, it's got air bubbles in every single point which is a bit excessive for me, to be perfectly honest. You know, there's, you're either going to have to clean that off or what you call it, or re-detail it, which is a little bit too much work. You know, it would have been far simpler just to have that smooth and not have those problems. Same there, a little bit of damage. You know, nothing that's a game changer. Nothing at all that's a game changer. One thing that I did notice is this land recess. I'll throw another picture up. It's a bit excessive. You know, you're going to have to fill that in. And for a £30 model, this retails at about £30. Yeah, that's a bit excessive. I mean, fine flocking, that sort of stuff. Having to use filler on a model that costs £30. Hmm, I'm not too impressed with that, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. 
so overall let me just put that back on overall it's a nice piece i won't deny it yeah for 30 pound it's a reasonable piece it does require a little bit of work to make it look you know bang on but if you're just after a quick piece of terrain that's relatively simple to put together and looks good on the battlefield then you can just take this spray it and run with it you know if you're looking for you know a real nice centerpiece and you want to invest some time in it then there's a bit of work to be done but overall i'd say it's a pretty good model to be perfectly honest uh one quick little caveat these things uh the ladders that go up they don't sit in the recesses properly yeah it's not a major issue they they do sort of sit and they do glue and they are fine but you know if you're trying to get into the recesses you'll have problems but anyway to just finalize off yeah i think it's a nice bit of terrain guys yeah now i'm going to do a few bits and bobs on this and no doubt you'll see it coming up soon but in the meantime you have a good day uh if you've got any good questions throw them in the comments i'll gladly answer them if i can in the meantime if you've liked the video please like it uh if you like the terrain sort of stuff subscribe to the channel guys and if you really want to do me a favor share it with your mates help me get a few more visitors that'd be brilliant right guys i'm going to crack on with this so you have a good day yeah all the best. Terra.